Good morning, my dear children. This is P. Vasanth Kumar, social teacher from DIV High School, STSTPS, AP Genko, Naltur. Dear children, today we are going to learn third part of Rain and Rivers. In the previous session, we have learned illustrate rain and rivers, define evaporation, explain the formation of clouds and rain, interpret winds and clouds, elaborate rainfall in Andhra Pradesh, how to make rain gaze. Third part of rain and rivers learning objectives. By the end of the chapter, you will be able to explain flow of rivers, elaborate transformation of a stream into a broad river. Let us learn rivers. Dear children, we know that the form of water is always changing. Water moves from sky to earth and back to the sky again. This is called the water cycle. Water falls to earth as rain, snow, sleet or hail. Some of the water soaks into the ground and is stored as groundwater. The rest flows into streams, lakes, rivers and oceans. During the rainy season, from the mountain slopes, water flows in small streams. On the other hand, water disperses as canals on the mountains. When it rains, for the next time, water flows down the same canal. Thus, river courses and river valleys are formed. Now let us learn how the small streams transform into a broad river. Generally, a river will be in the form of thin streams. It gets bigger and broader. When it flows further, it happens so for the reason that several small streams join it as the stream flows. A stream or river that flows into a main river is referred to as tributary. When the river becomes bigger and broader, the flow of river gets slower. Rivers carry silt, clay, mud and sand and deposits them on its bed and banks. This leads to the formation of the plains. It carries them on its own canals which afterward get filled up. When flood waters flow again to reach the sea, they have to split into new canals. As a result, a river forms a delta when it is close to the sea. There are two main deltas in our state, the Godavari and the Krishna rivers. These two large rivers flow through the Telugu states and we also have a large number of rivers that have water only during the rainy season. The western gods receive heavy rains. From there, the rivers like the Krishna and the Godavari begin. River Godavari originates in western gods at Triambakeshwar in the Nasik district of Maharashtra. It about 80 kilometers from the Arabian Sea at an elevation of 1067 meters, it deposits in the Bay of Bengal. River Krishna originates in Western Ghats at Mahabaleshwar in Satara district of Maharashtra. It about 64 km from the Arabian Sea at an elevation of 1337 meters. It deposits in the Bay of Bengal. Throughout the year, the rainwater slowly gets into the ground and flows into the river. These two rivers flows in the eastern world. Many of the rivers which start from the dry regions of Raya Sima like Penna are fed by insufficient rains and 
the rivers which start from the eastern gods receive moderate rains and the water flows rapidly into the sea that's why they go dry during the non rainy season and have water only the rainy season children next session we will discuss elaborate flood plains thank you my dear children